All right, so this next mnemonic is to help you remember the signs and symptoms that you need to monitor for patients that may be at risk for depression. So it's SIG, S-I-G, sleep disturbances, interest decreased, and guilty feelings. So you could be working in a mental health um, facility or many patients are in, in the hospital for various reasons are at risk for depression. Postpartum depression is a big one with your obstetric population. Um, pediatrics also has a risk for depression. But then you, if you have patients that have these significant life events, like they've had a massive heart attack, a massive stroke, that all of a sudden they've lost half the use of their body, you know, those kinds of things can really um, make people depressed and, and go through this depression when they realize maybe how their life is altered. Um, you know, sleeping in the hospital is not very easy, but this can further um, affect their sleep. Their interests are decreased and they're, they're not into the same things they were. They just don't care about the things that they used to care about. And guilty feelings. They feel bad about maybe their disease process, what it's going to do to their family or their loved ones, and what's going on with the depression as well. So you've got a lot going on that you need to monitor, not just um, the physiological side of the patient care, but you really need to be screening your patients for depression, um, not just in the mental health side of things and not just in the emergency department, but ongoing assessments with your patients that have um, had life-altering events, maybe even with uh, their other loved ones as well. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.